What's up Pisces? How are you guys doing? Welcome to the Gifted Hermit. Welcome to my newbies and welcome to my subs. Guys, I'm going to be doing a love reading. A love, love reading. It consists of three questions. In my opinion, I find it quite easy to follow Pisces. Your cards were jumping out all over the place. Like literally, I don't know what's up. You guys need to hit the like button, please. <laughs> subscribe if this video resonates then go ahead and hit the bell i'm sure you wouldn't want to miss another video for those of you that are in tuned and very interested in your uh into tarot so yeah deck b deck a i hope you would have picked a deck by now did i say pick a deck you were sure supposed to pick a deck i'll give you one second to concentrate there pick a deck you may very well find that it comes out completely reversed but we're all grown. These readings are very general. Deck A. What is up? Something's definitely up. I reckon somebody's mad here. I don't know. So it's Deck A, darlings. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. I'm in a funny mood today. Really am. Deck B, Pisces, Queen of Cups, that's more like it, for those of you that pick Deck B. Three of Wands. To finalise justice. Yeah, baby. This reading consists of three questions if i haven't said that already first question these two cards second question third question deck a deck b right depending on the power you picked first question is how you see each other right so ugh, i don't know how to say or what to say with the ten of swords and how somebody's being viewed here it might be of course it's quite an exaggerated card Let's get a close up. For those of you that don't know this card, it's quite exaggerated, isn't it? <laughs> so somebody's viewing somebody here as quite exaggerated, perhaps. Self-pity type of energy. Somebody's viewing somebody here as a type of person that cuts through the bullshit, the illusions. Maybe somebody's viewing somebody here as a type of energy that plays the victim. On a lighter note, somebody might be viewing somebody here as very um, enlightening, you know, enlightenment card. A turning point. Maybe there's a turning point here happening in your lives, Pisces. There's lots of interpretations. Perhaps this is the declutter card as well, you know. So perhaps somebody's viewing somebody here as a bit too cluttered. <laughs> I don't know, let me know what's up. It's cutting through the illusions, you know. <sighs> Somebody's prob probably a bit confused here with the Ten of Swords. Moving on to the Queen of Cups for those of you that picked Deck B. Queen of Cups is a lovely card, in my opinion. She's the type of lady that is very in tune with her emotions has a lot of empathy, you know. The Queen of Cups is very nice, um, kind, empathetic energy. So somebody's viewing somebody here as, you know, very compassionate, very calm, very patient, either you or them. Uh, somebody's viewing somebody here as a type of person that knows what it is when it comes to emotion, the power of emotion and feelings. Somebody's view, viewing somebody here as the type of person that's unconditional in love. Very compassionate. Which is lovely, isn't it, Pisces? Second question based on these two cards is what they want from the relationship. So with the eight of pentacles, somebody wants to just somebody wants consistency here, right? The eight of pentacles talks about consistency, it talks about hard at work. 
It could also be that somebody wants to keep things just how they are. One likes to say, some people like to say that this card is about, you know, the same old um, repetitive behaviours. But this is what somebody wants. Somebody wants patience as well, perhaps, and proficiency. Somebody wants diligence and discipline, knowledge. Somebody wants to be more dedicated to the job than ever. Uh, persevering, you know, keeping at the hard work. Maybe somebody wants to go back to school. Somebody wants to continue to learn new things. And it's quite reciprocated as well with deck B and the three of wands. Somebody wants new insights, new foresight, expansion. Somebody wants knowledge, more knowledge, more power, a sense of vocation. Somebody wants to seek new adventure and expand, explore. There's a lot of contemplation here about this. A couple of people want to focus on uh, these new these new ideas and stuff. Having an open perspective. Starting a new journey is what somebody wants to do. Pisces. Last question is where they believe it's going. This is all matters of the heart. It does not have to be sexual, right? I think everyone, some people get confused, you know, when we talk, talk of love, we, they think sex, partners, but it could be family, it could be matters of the heart, what you're passionate about. So deck A, and where they believe it's going, friendship, celebration, reason to celebrate, rewards for your efforts, team spirit is what someone believes is going to happen here, community spirit. Being part of a group here, you know, sharing your happy feelings with others, um, putting trusting up in others as well. Healing, a lot of healing here, and abundance. Enjoying your social life and stuff like that. Either you, Pisces, or them. And spending a lot of time with family, perhaps. Deck B, we have Justice, represents Libra. This is about fairness, equality, sexual equality, uh, harmony, making decisions. Somebody perhaps wants to make a decision here and somebody wants somebody to take responsibility, either you or them, for the choices that they've made. This is about accepting the truth. Somebody wants to accept the truth. Somebody wants to let someone know that communication is vital here. Interaction is essential to any relationship, I suppose, and to keep it going. I hope that makes a bit of sense for you, lovelies. Um, yeah, hit the like button, show some love. I'm going to finish this off with an angel card for you. It doesn't have to resonate with this love reading. It's just to give you some sort of positive vibes to leave with. And I will take this as it jumped. Shower of abundance. To heal your financial situation, Pisces, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. So go ahead and take that screenshot, darlings, so you can go back to it and really read through this small paragraph and in between the lines. There's a lot of uh, healing that's going to happen, guys, as long as you let it flow. I'm going to leave it there. Until next Thursday, Thursdays, I bid you farewell. If you don't want to miss another video, then I suggest you go and hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell. You know what you got to do. Love, peace and light to whoever you are in the world. I'm here in London. Yeah, until next Thursday, Thursdays. Ciao, ciao.